friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I'm sharing with you a milk carton carrier box tutorial. I loved creating my milk carton treat boxes so much that I decided to turn them into a set of four and with a set of four I could do a milk carton carrier. The dimensions are going to be to fit the milk carton treat boxes that I made in my previous tutorial using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board and uh, it's a lot of fun. They're quick and easy to make and I hope that this video will inspire you in creating your very own Happy Mail, Snail Mail or Gift Giving milk carton treat boxes along with their carriers. I hope that you enjoy this milk carton treat box carrier tutorial and please give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more paper crafting tutorials and project shares such as these and if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so it is free to subscribe to my channel I don't charge you one dime for my videos and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what other types of projects you would like uh, me to do for you or to share with you or just to say hello <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy this video thank you so very much for your time thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again on the other side <laughs>
cut, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to fold the paper and just pass your bone folder, but you're going to fold the paper on all the edges, not all the edges, you're going to fold your paper right along all of your score marks, and there we go, just like that. So this is what you end up with. You end up with this nice base. You are going to take your corner edges, okay? See these two edges? And just basically fold it like so. You're going to hold it together. And with your thumb and index finger, on your other hand, you are just going to press these right along. You might want to turn this over to make sure that this edge is on real good. See, you're coming along. Uh, you come out with something like this, okay? And we want to do that on all four edges. Oh yes, and another thing, what you didn't see me do on the video is before I started folding along my marks, what I did was I went around all four corners and kind of nipped, did, ran a little nip with my scissors, kind of like to round off each and every single corner. Okay, so now that we have this, like this, we are going to put it to the side. We don't do anything else with it for now. Okay, now for this piece right here, I'm going to... This was cut, this piece right here was cut at 5 and 6 eighths by 10 and 3 eighths. But since I'm going to make it a little bit more shorter, a little bit shorter than that I should say, I'm going to cut this piece at 5 and 6 eighths by 10. Also, I'm going to cut two pieces at 5 and 6 eighths by 10 because this is a um, one-sided paper and I want... I actually want both sides to show. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scoreboard one more time and I am going to score at two and a half on both sides. And two and a half. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add double-sided tape to both of these pieces. Double-sided tape to here, to here, and then I'm going to piece these two pieces together. After I, I put these two pieces together, what I'm going to do, and this is totally up to you, you can use a paper punch if you wish, or you can use a die. Um, let me show you. You can use a paper punch if you wish, or you can use a die to make a pretty design right along here. And if you don't have either, you could maybe do a half a circle here, half a circle there, however you like. Whatever it is that you have with you in your supplies, you can use. And um, to make this part right here, I used a Tim Holtz die. And to make the this part right here, kind of like, you know, a handle type of thing, I used a die from Spellbinders. So I will be right back. And once you have taken care of the initial cut for your handle, you can pair that with a smaller cut. If you don't have die cuts, uh, a die cutting machine, you can use a paper punch. Use a circle paper punch to put a circle right along there. What I am going to use, I love using these. I'm going to go ahead and use this die to cut through both papers right along there. You just kind of want to eye, uh, eye measure it right there. Let me take a look at this to make sure it's just where I want it. 
Okay, now I'm going to take it to my die cutting machine. Okay, so now that we have our die cut and this, you can save it for something else, perhaps uh, another tag for your milk cartons. Now that we have our die, uh, our die cuts, we are ready to put place our handle inside our box. And then after we do our handle in the box, that's when we close. So um, let me go ahead and add my, let's see, I'm going to need tape here and tape on the outside. So let me add the tapes to my box. And we're going to do one like so. Okay, and now that takes care of this part right here, but we also got to take care of this part. So now we are going to turn this over. Okay, so we have this going to be facing this way. Let's ensure that I'm in the right. Yep. Okay. And basically what we're going to do is since this is going to be smaller than this actual rectangle, you just pretty much want to eyeball it as far as the measurement is concerned, as far as you want it centered, but just go ahead and eyeball it. So we're going to remove that one there. Okay, we are good. Alrighty, that was easy. Make sure that, yep, yep, plenty of room for the milk cartons. Okay, so now that we have this up here, let me erase this. Sorry about that, I'm using my laptop today. Let's go ahead and peel here and peel here, and fold here, and fold here. That's our first fold, yay. There it is, our milk carton caddy. I'm so excited, I am loving this. So this is where we're gonna put our cute little milk carton treat boxes that I made for a friend. And I have one more box to make. And, oh my gosh, I am so loving this. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think? I have one more milk carton to make. And, um, yeah, I, I wanted to make that last milk carton in front of y'all because remember when I made my little piggies and I was being so careful and they still came upside down? <laughs> I was being careful of them not coming out sideways, but they came out upside down. I know how to fix that now. So I have already cut the paper that I want to use for my last milk carton, if I could find it. Come on, come on. Okay, I have already cut the paper to how I need to cut it. I believe it was what, 10 by seven and a half, I believe, I think. If not, I'll go ahead and just link you to my tutorial on how to make these cute treat boxes. So this is what I failed to do the last time. Okay, see my design? 
in order for your design to come out right, you're holding it like this, okay? Now you're gonna turn it upside down, just like that, and then you do your cuts, okay? So I might speed up this video to show you how it comes out, and uh, yeah. That's the thing that I failed to do with my piggies. And then I finally figured out, I was like, ah, oh, you should have turned it upside down. is that how cute is that what do y'all think I just love making these I think these make for a perfect um, display or presentation for gift giving you could do these at wedding showers and you know what these would be perfect for oh my gosh these would be perfect for um, do y'all do secret Santas, like go around the neighborhood and drop a package off for a secret Santa to your uh, best neighbor or friend or whatnot? If uh, during Christmas time, you could just leave the milk carton and caddy with the milk carton boxes at the door, ring the doorbell and take off running. <laughs> but these... <laughs> excuse me but these would be awesome for that secret santa or even halloween for your favorite neighbor or best friend or whatnot and perfect for gosh baby showers baby showers yes and so and and just plain fun gift giving i love making these i hope that you have enjoyed my tutorial and i hope that i have inspired you in making uh some of your very own milk carton gift boxes along with your milk carton caddies and yeah if you have any questions just post them in the comments section below and i will see y'all again real soon okay thank you for watching bye now